Just close your eyes for a minute and imagine, on this vast planet, what creatures might be lurking in secret. As much as humans like to believe we know everything, there are new discoveries every day proving that we actually know nothing. Some things we may never see, but some things we happen to catch on camera. And today, we'll be taking a look at just that. Number 15. Coney Island Creature A video taken in October 2020 off of Coney Island showed a bizarre sea creature caught by a fisherman. They were fishing in Coney Island when they caught a bizarre gray beast with what looked like a long tentacle, two small legs, and a gaping mouth. Despite its otherworldly appearance, shark expert David Ebert told Snopes that the sea creature was likely a little skate, Lucaraja iranisha. And as far as those large, wand-like appendages, Ebert said that those are claspers that indicate the animal is a male. Amateur marine biologists online agree and went even further to say it is a clear nose skate, which has two wings and a tail that ends in two dorsal fins. Whatever this is, I've never seen it, and I don't want to. Number 14. Goldie and Finch Chicks Goldie and Finches, or Erythrua Goldie, are beautifully colored birds native to the Australian coast. As adults, they're stunningly beautiful, but they don't start that way. Golden finch babies are, in a word, horrifying. The hatchlings are born with reflected blue beads on their beaks that look like tiny, creepy pearls. Bright nodules help parents see and distinguish their babies in the dark. When the babies open their tiny, nightmarish mouths, the parents see flashing blue and know it's time to feed them. The video above shows three-day-old chicks waiting to be fed. About a month after being born, the babies grow a nice feather coat and they look a lot less like Mongolian death worms. Number 13. Proboscis Monkey We're all aware of the existence of monkeys, but listen to this. Proboscis monkeys are endemic to the jungles of Borneo, never straying far from the island's rivers, coastal mangroves, and swamps. Proboscis monkeys are the primate world's most prolific swimmers, frequently leaping from tree limbs and hitting the water with a comical belly flop. Among the largest of Asia's monkeys, male proboscis specimens can reach 50 pounds, although females only attain about half that size. It may seem hard to believe, but male proboscis monkeys use their fleshy, pendulous noses to attract mates. Scientists think these outsized organs create an echo chamber that amplifies the monkey's call, impressing females and intimidating rival males. Number 12. Ay 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 ay. As funny as the name sounds, these creatures are evil. Ay 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 ay's are dark brown or black and are distinguished by a bushy tail that is larger than their body. They also feature big eyes, slender fingers, and large, sensitive ears. Ay 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 ay's have pointed claws on all their fingers and toes, except for their opposable big toes which enable them to dangle from branches. Ayai ayais can be found only on the island of Madagascar. These rare animals may not look like primates at first glance, but they are related to chimpanzees, apes, and humans. Many people native to Madagascar consider the Ayi Ayi an omen of ill luck. For this reason, they often have been killed on sight. Such hunting, coupled with habitat destruction, has put Ayai Ayai populations at risk. Number 11. Headless Chicken Monster Anipniastes is a genus of deep-sea sea cucumber. It is monotypic, being represented by the single species Anipniastes eximia due to its unique appearance. The species has been dubbed the Headless Chicken Fish, Headless Chicken Monster, and the Spanish Dancer. Most sea cucumbers move slowly by using their tiny tube feet, but some also have a faster escape response. They swim by flexing their bodies and inching along the seafloor. Its most distinct feature is its coloring, which is dictated by size. Small anipniastes are bright pink, and larger individuals are a more reddish-brown color. It is also semi-transparent, and its intestine can be seen through its body, especially after feeding. That's a bit creepy, isn't it? Number 10. Tarsier 
Tarsiers are haplorine primates of the family Tarsiidae, which is itself the lone extant family within the infraorder Tarsiiformes. Although the group was once more widespread, all of its species living today are found in maritime Southeast Asia, specifically the Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Brunei. It is estimated that there are between 5,000 and 10,000 Tarsiers left in the world, and these numbers are declining. The Philippine Tarsier is the only protected Tarsier, and Tarsiers in other locations are not protected. Number 9. Emotional Support Gator Joseph Henney's main companion is not an ordinary alligator. He tries to comfort people and is famous for his hugs. Henney's gator companion, Wally, is not an ordinary pet. He's an official emotional support animal and one that is now somewhat famous. After a video of Henny and Wally walking together in Philadelphia's Love Park went viral and triggered a slew of news headlines. Number 8. Horseshoe Crabs Horseshoe crabs are marine and brackish water anthropods of the family Limelidae and the only living members of the order Ziphosura. Despite their name, they are not true crabs or crustaceans. They are chelicerates. Horseshoe crabs live primarily in and around shallow coastal waters on soft, sandy, or muddy bottoms. They are generally found in the intertidal zone at spring high tides. They are eaten in some parts of Asia and used as fishing bait, fertilizer, and in science. Fossils of horseshoe crabs have been dated 445 million years old. They evolved in the shallow seas of the Paleozoic era. 540 to 248 million years ago, with other primitive arthropods called trilobites, a long extinct close relative of the horseshoe crab. They look like river stones, but probably bite harder than the stones hit. Number 7. Musk Deer They are found in the forests and brushlands of Central and Northeastern Asia. Musk deer are the size of a medium-sized dog. Unlike other species of deer, the males of this family do not have antlers, but they do have extremely long canine teeth. Musk deer have no visible tail, long hind legs, and large, rounded ears. Musk deer have a gland that produces a musk that is used in perfumes. Musk deer are solitary animals and are most active at night. Species in this family include the alpine musk deer, the black musk deer, and the Siberian musk deer. Their long canines and short ears make them look like dogs. Wait, what if they're only weird dogs? Number 6. Kawadi Mundi The Kawadi is a relative of the raccoon with a long, pointed muzzle, a long, bushy, and ringed tail, and brown to red-brown fur. Kawati Mundi search for food both on the ground and in the forest canopy, frequently climbing to obtain fruits. This species is more typically seen on the ground. Kawatis are omnivorous, typically eating fruit and invertebrates. Diet may include frogs, lizards, small animals, or birds and their eggs. Kawatis feed by using their long noses, poking them under rocks and into crevices. They also use their long claws to dig holes or tear apart rotting logs. No wonder you wouldn't believe their existence if it wasn't on camera. Number 5. Shoebill A shoebill either has the same goofy charm as the long-lost dodo, or it looks like it might go on the attack at any moment. What makes the aptly named shoebill so unique is its foot-long bill that resembles a Dutch clog. Tan with brown splotches, it's 5 inches wide and has sharp edges and a sharp hook on the end. Its specialized bill allows the shoe bill to grab large prey, including lungfish, tilapia, eels, and snakes. It even snacks on baby crocodiles and Nile monitor lizards. A bird that preys on alligators? I'd rather stay away. Shoe bills can stay motionless for hours, so when a hapless lungfish comes up for air, it might not notice this lethal prehistoric looking bird looming until it's too late. Number 4. Bilby A greater bilby, otherwise known as Australian's Easter Bunny, is a ground-dwelling bandicoot marsupial. The kangaroo-like large, hairless ears and long, slender hind legs give the animal a rather funny appearance. The fur of the marsupial is soft and silky, colored with blue-gray and exhibiting thin, 
tan-colored patches. When galloping, the animal drags its tail behind itself like a stiff banner. The Queensland wild bilby population is listed as endangered, with an estimation of between 400 and 600 animals. It is scattered over 100,000 square kilometers in far western Queensland. That's quite rare to be caught on camera. Number 3. Opera Dog Have you ever imagined a Labrador doing opera? Me neither, but here we have Hugo a dog who very much likes to sing. Hugo's passion is listening and singing to opera. As soon as he hears the music, he stops whatever he is doing and joins the three tenors to sing with them. Number 2. Ely Pika The Ely Pika is a species of mammal from the family Akotanidae, endemic to northwest China. After its discovery in 1983, it was not documented again until 2002. Increased temperatures likely from global warming, an increased grazing pressure may have caused the rapid population decline. The Ely pika somewhat resembles a short-eared rabbit. It is large for a pika, with a length of 20.3 to 20.4 centimeters, or 8 inches, and a weight of up to 250 grams, or 0.55 pounds. It has brightly colored hair and displays large rusted red spots on the forehead, crown, and sides of the neck. The Ely pika is an endangered species native to the Tian Shan mountain range in northwestern China. The exact cause for their population decline is relatively unknown, but scientists attribute it to climate change and low population densities. Number 1. Gloucester Canary Gloucester Canaries were bred to be small, short, and stubby no longer than 4 inches and can come in many color variations. They are often confused with the crested canaries, although one noted difference is that crested canaries are larger than Gloucesters and not as commonly available. Although some Gloucester canaries do sport cute beetles haircuts, also referred to as crests, the crested canary was recognized as a separate breed in 1925. Gloucester canary originated in 1925 in England and was first shown by Mrs. Rogerson. It was the result of crossing a small crested roller with a small border. The result of this cross was subsequently shown at the 1925 Crystal Palace National Show, where fanciers recognized the bird's potential. The funny-looking, bowl-cut fur still gets me. I'm sure it gave you a laugh too. That was it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you at the next one.